So Cody Rhodes is the new Global Force Wrestling Next Gen Champion. So, so wait, 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 let me get this straight. Not understanding any of the rules of intellectual properties, Global Force Wrestling is plastering Cody Runnels' name all over the place as Cody Rhodes, which is the intellectual property, the name of WWE. I didn't even know Global Force Wrestling still existed. <laughs> and yet apparently they've got multiple champions and now Cody Rhodes is the next gen champion. <laughs> Nothing says next gen like a WWE regen. <laughs> Second generation, that's the next generation. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? Maybe this is just what global farce wrestling needs to get over the hump and scale the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> to maybe make them even, dare I say, the king of the mountain in the independent professional wrestling scene. <laughs> you know what this is, makes me want to do? This makes me want to go to Global Force Wrestling. Global Force Wrestling, oh, who gives a fuck? And I'm going to go buy an autographed 8x10 of both Karen and Jeff Jarrett because, God forbid, you'd want to have any autographed merch for sale for any of the actual fucking wrestlers that wrestle on one of your spot shows three or four times a year. I want to get myself a personalized autograph Jeff Jarrett guitar for the low, low price of $175 just so that way I too can perhaps learn how to break a guitar and not draw a dime just like Jeff fucking Jarrett. And then to top it all off, to help celebrate Cody Rhodes' <laughs> violation of the WWE's trademark and his <laughs> winning of the Next Gen Championship for Global Farce Wrestling. I'm going to go ahead and order my own version of the title via top rope belts for the low, low price of $1,995. And then, maybe, maybe, just maybe, if I can be so lucky, I'll become a gold member of Team Jared, 24 karat gold, and I'm going to make a pyramid out of it, and all of you are going to be sucked into the web of that scheme. Global first wrestling it's best. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll watch one of their TV episodes. Oh. <laughs> None have ever aired. <laughs> if anything's ever lived up to the name of Global Farce Wrestling, <laughs> it is the promotion <laughs> founded by the founder, a Memphis Midgard piece of crap. Jeff fucking Jet! <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs>